Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, today I am going to bring you five things that I keep in my kitchen that have helped me on my Weight Watchers journey. So these are going to be five like tangible things um, that can help keep you on track. The first one, this is a little bitty piece of Tupperware. It's tiny, I bought them on Amazon, they were cheap. They screw open <laughs> and they're perfect for dips dressings and sauces um so these i would take on the go i never put my sauces or my dressings actually like on my food i always put it on the side because i always eat less if i do that so these were a must get for me all right the second item is in the same vein really cute dip bowls okay so i think i got these as a wedding present many years ago but now i've started using it i always put um my dips or dressings again on the side and these and also i'll use it for like really small servings of something sweet like just a couple bites of something um they're really little mm, actually i don't know exactly how how big they are but i mean it's the size of the palm of my hand it's really small um so these look really nice on my table and it's a little bit less just like a slop of dressing on the side of a plate. Looks pretty easy to serve in. This bowl, it is a small bowl. I think it is like an eight ounce bowl. And what I love about these bowls and why they're so important is they keep my portions small. I use these for ice cream and cereal. It is really easy to way overeat ice cream and cereal. Most most cereals a serving is half of a cup who pours half of a cup of cereal into a big old bowl nobody it looks so sad so if you pick a really small bowl it feels so much fuller um and honestly if i just need a little bit this will really help me i actually bought these because i used to just like put my ice cream and cereal in a coffee cup and <laughs> and that kind of got ridiculous my husband was like why are you always giving me ice cream in a coffee cup so for christmas he bought me like little bowls little bitty bowls that we could just eat out of ah, this is a cupcake holder it's y'all it's a cupcake tin but i use it for really little crunchy snacks you can see that i have my itty bitty pretzels in here um so i probably have like 20 pretzels in here again this bowl is now too big <laughs> grab and go i can just throw it away when i'm done i'm not tempted to like refill it a hundred times because it doesn't really keep its shape also perfect for my toddlers they can just carry it around and I'm not afraid they're gonna break stuff although they do drop things out of it pretty frequently but you can like feel like it's a nice full snack um, I love these itty bitty pretzels you get like I remember 50 of them for like three points it's perfect but it's like the perfect little thing to just stick little snacks in right and you can portion them all out sometimes I'll even go ahead and put them in in these and store them all like in a Tupperware thing so they're already already portioned out last one and this is my my biggest one it's an itty bitty wine glass this wine glass is actually from like a beer tasting or something um so if you've gone to tastings and you have these little like tasting glasses around here's what is awesome about this I'm not tempted I mean I fill it up I think that this holds four ounces if I filled it up to the very very top so it's like a four ounce tasting glass um and four ounces, as you know, is like, I don't know, four or five points, depending on what wine you are. And again, I'm on Blue Plan. It all, it all depends. So this just helps me be like, just when I want a taste of wine. I just want a couple of sips of wine. And usually that's enough to take off the edge. So I'll pour my, I feel it's halfway up to give myself two ounces of wine. And if when I finish that two ounces, I still really feel like I want more, then I can go and get a little bit more. But now I'm not tempted to finish the glass just because it's in front of me. There you have it. Those are five items that I keep in my kitchen that have helped keep me on track to lose over 100 pounds on Weight Watchers. I hope that those will help you out. Um, feel free to subscribe and watch some more videos for more tips and tricks. And I'll see you next time.